Lucy 语言家教 Welcome to Lucy Language Tutoring. I'm Scott, and this is Lucy. Real English, no textbooks, no classrooms. Today's lesson was produced in Taiwan's capital city of Taipei. Please listen to this recording while reading the lesson. Enjoy today's lesson. It's all coming right now from Lucy Language. Two thousand twenty-one is Pac-Man's forty-first anniversary. Loved by many people throughout the years and around the world. Let's take a look at its history. Pac-Man was developed by a Japanese game programmer with the help of several members of his team. At the time, the female-friendly concept behind this game was an original approach. Pac-Man was first introduced to the public on May 22, 1980. Game enthusiasts at the exhibition were especially excited by the game's visuals and sounds. This day has become Pac-Man's birthday. In July of that year, Pac-Man went on sale in Japan and quickly captured the hearts of many people. By October, it arrived in Chicago and quickly achieved its big break. By adding new types of hardware, the company was able to manufacture many more units. In the first half of the 1980s, Pac-Man became a social phenomenon in America. This phenomenon was called Pac-Man Fever. Over 450 items of Pac-Man licensed merchandise were sold by roughly 250 companies. In 1982, the song Pac-Man Fever sold. Over one million records, receiving the Gold Album Award. Also, an animated TV show called The Pac-Man Show had a massive TV audience. Called the Mickey Mouse of the '80s, Pac-Man was featured prominently in all media. Namco, the Japanese company that owned Pac-Man. Thank the American public for its huge success by contributing funds to help refurbish the San Francisco cable car network. This led to further success for Pac-Man. The founder of Namco, Mr. Masaya Nakamura, was dubbed the father of Pac-Man. In seven years, Pac-Man sold a total of two hundred ninety-three thousand eight hundred and twenty-two coin-operated games. In two thousand five, it was recognized by Guinness World Records as the most successful coin-operated game. Since then, Pac-Man's popularity has continued to grow. New editions of Pac-Man are always appearing in stores and arcades, and a large amount of Pac-Man licensed merchandise is still popular. In 2007, the Pac-Man Championship Edition was introduced. To celebrate this newest edition, a Pac-Man World Championship was held in New York City. More recently, Pac-Man has expanded into mobile games, so now old fans and younger generations can enjoy it. To commemorate Pac-Man's cultural influence, Google created a special playable Pac-Man logo on the Google homepage. You can play it at this link. Play Pac-Man and catch the fever. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. To purchase a copy of today's lesson, including the audio recording, a PDF of the lesson, 
and answer key, send an email to lucylanguage at icloud.com for more details. Lucy, 语言家教。